Right, let's jump into Zone 6 and do the puzzles which I couldn't do. Long ago, I shaped these lands according to the purpose of the hidden words. Thus, all things have meaning where before was only chaos. Know that and have faith. Okay. So before there was only chaos, that's what you're saying. Also, I've just noticed the B flashing. That's that's world B. I'm currently in world A. So can I now access is that basically telling me I can now access zone B, I think uh, world B, I think it is. Right, this is a puzzle by chromatic entanglement, which I couldn't do before. However, we have done some other puzzles since then. And also keep getting reminded that we can cross the beams. So I need to work, I think I need to work out. I, th I think I remember partly how I did this, right? I need to work out what happens when I cross beams. And uh, whether... beams what happens. Okay, so we can grab we can so this is the obvious thing we can do straight away. But I need to plonk something on here to keep this door open. And the only thing I can put on there must be one of these things. So, the question we have is what happens when we cross beams. So if we connect a red connector, let's just try it. Ah, we can also do this, so let's just consider this as well. So whilst that one is open, we could put one of the connectors from here to there. But this door will close because the red door will be cut off. So if I take this and I cross these beams, what happens? So I take this and I connect to here. Cut each other off, right. So that's what happens when you cross the beams, they cut each other off. But can we connect to that, to that, and to this? What happens then? So we actually get a zap of red as soon as that hits there. Obviously. Ah, hold on. What about, can I do this? One, two, three. Now that, and then I can take this, right? And then I can take this and this. Yes! Hold on. What have I done there? I don't know what I've done there. Um, so this one technically should... Hold on, I could connect that to there and to... to yes, but as soon as I remove... Yeah, damn. Um, I think I had it then. There. There. Right, I think I might have gotten something there. So, I have to remember I can connect to three things at once. So I can do that, that. So that opens that. What I want to do, really, is connect 
that, that, and that. So if we do this, this, and this, that connects to that, meaning I can grab this one. There we go, that's how we do it. So, something to remember is I can connect. Beautiful. So now I have four red cubes at the top there. There's nothing else in here, is there? No, just a crack in the wall. I want to get up there. Spam jump key. No. No. Right. Well, that was cool. Um, where's the way out? So, something basically to remember is that you can just to remember to try and attach to three things. Deception. I'm not sure if that was exactly the takeaway, but that helped me solve that puzzle, so let's remember that. Okay, this one. We have the sigil in there, we have a red connector. Ah, this one was the dis quite far distance one, wasn't it? And we had, right, we've got one connector here. So I had to connect the red connector Oh yeah, and there was these platforms. I think these platforms are here for a reason. Being... Oh yeah, and there's that guy over there. Look. So if I connect one, two, and three... Okay, so let's just do the simple stuff first. And we've got... That's there. Oh, we have to go and get another connector, don't we? Right, we'll connect th these two. And then we can grab this guy. So we could connect that, but I couldn't get through. Oh, let's double check. Was there another... And there is another connector over here, right. Yeah, I, c I kind of remember this puzzle, but not being able to do it very well. And then we can connect this blue with this blue but that leaves us with an issue that we can't connect this three ways because the angles are wrong so we need another connector of which we can't get one because every single one is completely necessary and if we break off at any moment doors will shut and everything will be dispowered, unpowered. So I can go back this way, so I can take him... Uh, I can grab the blue from there, can't I? And then I can fire the blue... Hmm. Okay, first thing we'll try... I don't actually need to keep those doors open, do I? Well, I might do. Can I now just connect the blue? Hold on, I can just, surely I can just connect the blue angles. Jeez, that was actually much simpler than I thought. All right, let's just plonk that down. Yeah, this is obvious. I can just grab this. It's amazing how... Oh no, no I can't just do that. Yes I can. Uh, no I can't. Um, so if I do that... Then I can do... Oh actually yes I can, I can do this. It's amazing how a knight's sleep or coming back to a... Oh no, I can't hit it! Damn! But I can go around it. 
That is mad. That was really, really simple. Apologies if you watched my last video with me running around like a headless chicken. It's amazing what leaving a puzzle and coming back to it does. Fresh start and all that. So we have five red insidious. Perfect. We're pretty... Uh, we're going pretty quickly. Okay, we're getting beeped at. Hello again, we'd like to take a few moments to complete a short user satisfaction survey regarding the certification program you recently undertook. Yes. Loading survey. Based on the analysis of your behaviour since, I think you were dissatisfied with the results of the certification program. How would you rate the accuracy of its results out of five? Spoil the survey. Reasonable. Very poor. Very good. Well... I was dissatisfied. It, it told me a lot of very, uh, very mean, very upsetting things, but I don't really know. Um, I don't want to make a results, the accuracy. Let's say, yeah, no, let's say it was poor. I'm sorry to hear that. What best describes the reason for your investment in the certification program's outcome? Why does being a person matter to you? Ah, it doesn't really. I'm not that bothered. I want to find out if I am one. It's the truth. I want network access. Persons matter in ways other things don't. Wait, we're having a conversation now. I would like to find out if I am one. I'll try to remember that. In fact, I'm going to help you. This is what I'm here for. Your problem, if I may, is that you don't know the first thing about anything, including what a person is. Your prospects are therefore poor. Do you even know where you are? A virtual reality theme park? The end of the world? A fever dream? Hell, some mad experiment. A virtual reality theme park is the closest. No, it's not virtual reality. It's not a virtual reality at all. It could be anywhere. It literally could be anywhere. I think I'm in a computer simulation testing AI ability. So it's an experiment, but it's not mad. It's not a dream. It's not hell. That doesn't exist. And it could be the end of the world, but where would the computer running the simulation be? Perhaps in space. But this is probably the most logical answer. It could be anywhere. You're quite right. Honest, too. I think we'd best start from scratch. What do you know? I don't know. None of this is real. I know I exist. I think, therefore, I am. Is that right? I think, therefore, I am. Is that the expression? I know you exist. I know what century it is. I know I'm not on Earth. So none of those. I know none of this is real. Well, it is real. Because this exists within... I know 2 plus 2 equals 4. I th I, let's say I know I exist. I suppose so. Even if you were dreaming, you could be certain of that. If I were you, I wouldn't believe a darn thing in his place aside from that solitary fact. Thinking. On reflection, it seems to me that we are no closer to resolving a problem. Perhaps we need more data. What makes you think you're a person? Well, I'm not sure. Person. I'm alive, I feel, I am conscious. The same thing that makes you think you are. I'm having this conversation with you. I don't see how I can convince you. Well, I don't know if it thinks it is. I don't know if I'm alive. As in, I think I'm a computer program. I'm having this conversation with you. It doesn't qualify me to be a person. I don't see how I can convince you. I don't even know how I can convince myself. Sensible response, I agree with you. Thinking. The problem with people, if I may be so bold, is that you are all convinced you're people from the inside. But there's no cast iron way to confirm as much from the outside. I'm going to process this and send you a notification when I'm able to assist you further. Terminating support session. Resuming library archive session. Okay, that was a interesting back and forth. I'm going to process this and send you a notification when I'm able to exist to, to assist. That'll be an interesting thing to read. Have we read these? I can't remember. Simple principle. We have. We have read this. But let's read this again because it is about the Taos principle. 
Okay, though Stratton himself never used the term, his remark about the inescapable materiality of life, that like the Bronze Age giant Talos, even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood, ultimately became known as the Talos Principle. Inescapable materiality of life, that like the Bronze Giant Talos, even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. So it's talking about that even the most even the most faithful philosopher cannot exist without life inside him. That's the Talos Principle. So something without life cannot live. I know that's pointing the obvious. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Diogenes Laertes makes mention of a dialogue by uh, Anaximander of Chalcedon that expanded greatly on the Talos Principle, but that work remains lost. That's unhelpful. I think we've read the rest of them. Well, that was a successful little soiree into Zone 5. Or Zone 6. Where are we? 6, I think. Uh, no, that's not the exit. Here's the exit. Um, and we've completed everything. What is interesting is these black crosses are very... human, aren't they? They're not... Everything else is... It's like just someone smeared black paint. It's very slapdash. It's not exactly the same precision that everything else in the game has. It's very out of place, that's what I'm trying to say. Right. Do you know what? I think that is a nice, neat little video. Because I don't want to jump into Zone 7 straight away. We've got 7, and we've got this blocked off area, which I'm extremely intrigued about getting into. And it has no... we have no idea where that's going to take us. So I'm not going to jump into 7. I might quickly qu whip down here because okay fair enough um, so before we jump into seven we're gonna save the video and uh, that one kind of tied up nicely so we'll enter zone seven in the next video Thank you very much for watching.